Hello everyone, my name is Anish Rana and you are watching Kubernetes web series. Today our topic is multi CNI. Let's talk about this. As we know that Kubernetes support a single network interface. For some scenario, we need to implement two or three interfaces in the ports so that we can connect to different backend services. Multers is an open source CNI container network interface plugin for Kubernetes that let you attach multiple network interfaces to a single port and associate each with a different address range with the help of CRD. CRD means custom resource definition object in Kubernetes. Thus, Multers containers manage the multiple network interfaces in Kubernetes. Now let's talk about role of multi CNI. It enabling multiple interface support by serving as a supplementary layer in a container network. It attach multiple network interfaces to a port in Kubernetes. So multi CNI work as a intermediate between container runtime and plugins. Multers is dependent on other type of network plugin such as Fennels, Calico, Helium, and Weave. So now we understand that with the help of Multers CNI, we can attach multiple interfaces with the pod. Moreover, it also allows to attach DP, DK, SRI, OV interfaces to pod to support network intensive workloads. Both interfaces are used where we need a heavy traffic such as voice traffic which we can't afford a single drop right so this multis is also support these interfaces so let's understand with the help of one diagram we know that pod has single interface ATS 0 connect with kubernetes cluster network to connect with kubernetes server or services for an example kubernetes api services or kubelet and so on now, with the help of multers, we add net zero and this is attached with network one. And then again, we add net one interface that is connected with different network, network two. So, this is what we are going to achieve with the help of multers CNI. Now, how to install multers CNI? If we try to execute this command, kubectl get network attachment definition will observe error message. The server does not have a resource type network attachment definition. Now we can add with the help of multers. A single command that we are going to use is with the help of this command, we observe that it also create custom resource definition CRD. As I said previously, with the help of CRDs, we add network attachment definition file here. This is what we have added here. After that, we also create a rule, cluster rule, cluster rule binding and service account that will manage these things and config map and daemon set here. With the help of daemon set, the port will be created on each worker nodes and master nodes. If we execute this command, kubectl get port minus a grab multers we should observe three ports. The reason behind is that three port because I have one master node and two worker nodes. So total number of three nodes are there with the help of daemon set. The number of nodes we have, the number of ports it will be created. Now if we execute the same command kubectl get attachment definition. Now this time we will observe no resource found in the default namespace. It means that previously it gave us the error message, but now this says no resource form. Now we need to create one resource. For that, we need some information. If we go to etc cni net.d directory and cat this file, jq is for json query dot, so it will give you a nice output. Now here the version is cni version is 0.3.1. This tells each CNI plugin which version we are we are using here. A simple thing. And after that, it also tells us cluster network. This is a cluster network, and the host is my master. And here master. And if we check this file, it means this file name. It took 
by default when we install the multus it took by default that in this configuration file we use calico okay and now now here the type is multus shim it means that this tells cni which binary to call on this this is the configuration file that will be created when we install the multus as we know that every vm has different interfaces and gateway thus we need to create one configuration file that contain the correct information for that first we need to identify the correct interfaces and gateway how we can achieve this thing we can execute ifconfig command and here i get to know that enp 0s3 is my interface name and the ip address is being offered to 192.168.1.31 right after that we also root minus n command from this command we get to know that our gateway is 192.168.1.1 right now we can create a file the file is api version would be a8s.cni.cncf.io version 1 after a kind is network attachment definition we are going to create here the name name it anything here i am using mac vlan hyphen conf this is this inside this spec section we have configuration cni version is 0.3.1 type is mac vlan master is enp 0 s3 master means means that all the traffic goes to this interface mode is bridge and here in host local the subnet is 192.168.1.0 it is getting from this information this is having 192.168.1.31 it should be 1.0 slash 24 start range is when we attach the network with pod it will assign the ip address right for that reason we need to mention here the start range and end range so start range is 1.200 you will observe that first ip address it allocate to 1.200 we will see destination we will get from this here 000 and the gateway would be 192.168.1.1 here now we have all these information when we execute this command so here i'm using kubectl create so it will create this network attachment definition when we execute this command kubectl get network attachment definition this time we will observe mac lan hyphen con this is the name i set if i describe this network attachment i would observe all these information here so i will observe all these information here type is host local starting range is here range end would be 216 router for router inside this router we have you know destination and the gateway is here. So let's move forward. Port configuration for multus. Now we have installed the multus on our clusters. How we can obviously we need to add some extra lines in our port configuration file or deployment that will read or that will redirect to multus configuration files. Right. So for that reason, here I'm using a simple pod. Kind is pod version is v1, all are same it will create here the name of the port is sample port the annotation section this is important line here in annotation we have to add k8s.v1.cnitncf.io network and the name of our configuration file so it will see our configuration file and attach one interface here and rest of the part is simple so here i'm not going to explain you this thing when we execute this command kubectl get sample here i i'm observing that my pod is running that's great so let's go inside this pod in bash and when i execute i have config command i will observe three interfaces one is eth0 loopback that is by default the one more interface it attach and the IP address is being assigned to 192.168.1.200. This is my starting IP address, right? So now you should observe three interfaces. The net one are the new interface we created with the help of Mac VLAN configuration file, right? This is my starting range. This is what I have created. 
now we need to add two additional interfaces so what would be the configuration file that i need to append in my port definition file just comma and again macvlan.conf whatever the name you have mentioned in my file i have mentioned macvlan-conf comma again same so what it will do it will attach two interfaces let me show you here kubectl i have config it is 0 net1 and net2 net1 is having 201 and net2 interface is having 202 this is how we can add multiple interfaces on our pod now it's time to proceed for the lab and before proceeding with that if you like this video please support me on paypal.me anish sharna 2001 also you can help me if you are watching this video on youtube you will observe the support button over there now i have already logged in into my github page here if i execute this command i should see no namespace is available here you can use kubectl get pods minus capital a grab i have already installed with the help of single command that i have showed you in the jury part now all three ports are running now i need to add one file here let me show you here i have config enp0 this is my ip address and root minus n this is my gateway ip address let me copy the window here paste it over here it created the network attachment definition file here so if i go up here i should see macvlan here and if i want to describe i should see all these information here the same thing i have already explained you in the configuration file let me clear the window here it's time to create a pod as of now i don't have any pod here let me check kubectl get pods no namespace no pod is available here now i should see the interfaces one is it is zero back and this is the new one and the ip address it is allocated 192.168.1.200 here now i need to attach two interfaces here how, how we can achieve this thing we just need to add one more time the name one more time so this time i have mentioned separated by comma only it is also created here so let's check get parts to the window net1 net2 net1 is offered the ip address of 1.201 and 202 if you want you can also go devopswala.com kubernetes courses here if you are looking for CKA exam, please use my YouTube channel. If you are looking for CKA exam or CKAD exam, I have already uploaded my videos here. So please watch these videos if you are go for this certification. And for CKA, these are the videos that I have already uploaded here. Before the interview, please watch all my videos. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. I will update you that's it for today thank you very much i hope you like this video please don't forget to share my videos or playlist with your friends and colleagues it will help me and other colleagues also thank you bye bye